Thank you. A very good evening to the Toastmaster of the evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Today, I will be speaking to you about sustainability and ugly food. Why is sustainability important? Well, it is because that there is an insufficient supply of food. And close to 800 billion people in the world do not have enough food for a healthy and active lifestyle. While much progress has been made towards food security in recent years, without much further urgent and coordinated action, poverty, hunger, and malnutrition will continue to undermine the lives of millions now and in years to come. And on the supply side, there is contaminated water, climate change, declining land and water resources for farming. Farmers around the world are also getting older, but not enough millennials like me are willing to take over this job. <laughs> and this will lead to unimaginable impacts on Earth. And what, might you ask, are the impacts on Earth? The world's population reached 7.7 .7 billion in 2018, and it's expected to reach 9.6 billion in 2050. More people means more food, which will mean more food production. Thus, one of our long-term goals is to produce enough food so that everybody can be nutritiously and adequately fed without over-exploiting the Earth's ecosystems. And the most sustainable measure to take is to reduce food waste, which will then lead to reducing food insecurity. We need to start reducing food waste because food can be wasted at any point in the supply chain for a number of reasons. In developing countries, food is often lost due to the lack of basic resources such as transportation, technology and labour. And in developed countries, food is often lost after it reaches the consumer, which when it decomposes, releases methane or greenhouse gases into the environment. And then there is food culling, or the removal of produce based on cosmetic blemishes, which means that produce that is too small, oddly shaped, off colour, or has too many blemishes is thrown out. Food colouring often happens at both the farm and the grocery store, <coughs> or both take steps to reduce food waste. A lot of food is still wasted. A 2009 study by students from Nanyang Technological University estimated that a third of the produce at the market, or up to 30,000 kgs of fruit and vegetables, was discarded daily in the supermarket. Have you ever seen this? <laughs> Even after food culling, customers are still choosing for the perfect fruit or vegetable. My mother is a huge culprit at this. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, you might laugh at her, but are you not guilty of this crime yourself? <laughs> But seriously, after you wash it, chop it up, and serve it, will anybody know the actual size or shape of the fruit or vegetable? No! We need to start reducing food waste because according to the National Environmental Agency, Singapore wasted close to 800,000 tons of food in 2016. While there is no breakdown of the type of food being wasted, throwing away imperfect looking food, definitely contributes to this problem. There are some marketing campaigns like ugly produce is beautiful and ugly but honest. I think we need to enforce the meaning of these campaigns and stop food waste. There are some easy ways that we can educate the public about food wastage. For one, we can set up sampling booths at supermarkets to let customers try the difference between normal looking fruits and ugly looking fruits. But the thing is, there is no difference. Also, we can go to schools and give talks to young. These youngsters will then go home and tell their parents who will be more educated about this situation that we are facing. We can also sell ugly food cheaply or bundle them in with the rest of the normal looking fruits. This way, customers will be enticed to buy them. We can also get restaurants to serve ugly food. <laughs> Some clever adults created SG Food Rescue. And one of the programs was Little India Veggie Collection, which was I, what I took part in. We went around Little India, asking shopkeepers for the unwanted and unsellable fruits that would be otherwise thrown away. 
These fruits were then distributed amongst our food rescuers. This is a picture of me during the food rescue. I have to admit, it was a real eye-opener eye for me. I thought we would be rummaging and scavenging inside the rubbish bins for that one prized cucumber. But no! <coughs> everything was very orderly and everything was in place. This is a win-win situation as the shopkeepers who have unwanted and unsellable vegetables don't need to spend time, money and effort to get rid of these vegetables. And the food rescuers, well, we get free food. <laughs> I am convinced that imperfect produce is perfect for me. What about you? I'll leave you with that thought. Thank you very much.